Hi everyone, welcome back to Vedic Life Coaching. Thank you so much for joining me. Now, in today's pick a card reading, we're doing something a little bit different. I've got my whiteboard, I've got a marker pen, and I'm gonna be drawing out the concept for today. We're going to take a look at this concept of circular thinking. And in order to get there, I'll need to talk about linear thinking and lateral thinking as well. So I'm gonna draw up some diagrams here. And then I'm gonna get you to pick from the gold cards. We're just doing really, really simple, quick reading today. Nothing long, just really short and simple. It's a bonus reading for the week. So I've been guided to do lots of pick a card readings lately, just because, you know, things are a bit hectic out there in the collective. And uh, I've discovered that the best way to serve for now is just to do nice and easy, simple content like this. Okay. The other thing is I might put some music in the background of this episode just to see how it goes so I, i'm not sure if i'm going to do that yet so i might do that i might not do that let's see what happens i'm not sure i'm being experimental everybody okay so let's take a look at this concept let's take a look first at linear thinking how does that work so i'm going to draw some dots in a row and we are going to go from a to b c to d to e very linear okay so let's say for example you have a goal you have a goal you have something that you want to achieve and maybe it's something like i want to do a master's program and that master's program is very very expensive so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take some family savings and then i'm going to invest it on the stock market and then i'm going to get the gains and I'm going to put it in my education. Look at that. You've achieved your goal. Nice, simple, linear thinking. You have a goal. What I typically tend to find is that linear thinkers are left brain people. They're very organized and, you know, quite goal oriented. And as you can see, these are kind of individual actions. There's nothing too related here. Now, this is also left brain. Okay, so let's take a look at the right brain people. What's going on there? Okay, right brain. We've got lateral thinkers who see the bigger picture. Okay, so I'm going to write uh, lateral. There you go, without knocking over the camera. <laughs> and it's a big picture thing. Now, when it comes to big pictures, my all-time favorite big picture is, of course, the North Indian style Vedic astrology map. For me, this is the most phenomenal mapping tool that we have. It's the most phenomenal and all-encompassing all system. It maps everything. There is nothing you can't look at through this lens. And a, a lateral thinker sees the big picture. So yes, they take the family savings and yes, they invest it and yes, they take the gains and they put it in their uh, education, but they're looking at the bigger picture. They're seeing that, wow, well, that's really gonna bring so much to me because you know uh, that's gonna improve the business that I run with my partner. It's gonna do wonders for my confidence. You know, we'll be able to plan a nice home and to have children. Uh, you know, if, if I later take on a position in a company or something like that, if I'm serving in that way, it'll improve that, etc., etc. So there's a massive big picture here. As we can see up here, the person just had their goal, you know, A to E. They, they were like, okay, I'm, I'm just looking in this one sort of way and I'm, I'm taking this one line. This is very effective and it's very necessary. We need this in the world. But equally, we need the big, big picture people as well, right? Big picture is, is so important. Now, what's happening with these circular thinkers? <laughs> these people are fascinating. And I've got, I've got some of this. And I, you know, through Vedic astrology, I've definitely been expanding my worldview, taking in a lot more information, considering a lot more of the same things at the same time. And when you work with this a lot, everything becomes interrelated. You start to develop interconnections within your mind. 
right? Now, circular thinkers, this is where you take the whole thing to another level. Circular thinkers will see the entire bigger picture, but they will be able to go into detail here and they go, oh, wow, that's really interesting. They go into detail, but then they go, oh, look at this unrelated thing over here, but I'm joining the dot and that's fascinating. And these two things are actually connected. Isn't that interesting? And then you kind of go over here and you realize, wow, that is really interesting there. And you go into the detail there and then you go over here and you go, oh my God. And then this links with that, no way. And you're like, wow. And then <laughs> you go over here and, and everything kind of joins. It's really quite incredible, right? And this circular thinking process is something that I go through when I'm doing a tarot reading, right? And you've seen me pull out one card here and I'll go, oh, that relates to this over here. And, you know, these three are all similar, in fact. And then, like this, you, you have all these things, but, but you read all the cards as a whole as well, right? And this is very much about joining up your thinking. The other thing that happens with circular thinking people is that they'll do all of this exploration and this interesting work here. And this, by the way, is all very, uh, I would say, um, you know, it could seem random to the outside world, but within you, it, it really makes sense, right? Uh, I'm thinking of Richard Feynman. He talks about take a subject and study it in the most irreverent and original manner possible. And I think what he's talking about, he's a famous scientist, what he's talking about is doing this circular thinking, right? Don't just go in the logical, simple way. This is very effective and it's very necessary to achieve goals and to do things in, say, for example, the 3D world. But when you're up here and you're using your intuition, uh, you know, and people might even think that you're psychic. You're not. What it is is you're joining up all your thinking, right? You're connecting a lot more dots within yourself. It's, it's quite incredible. The other thing about circular thinkers is that, yes, they'll do all of this activity and then they'll go, oh, okay, well, I'm going to go and create that. Like, so from all of this, I'm over here doing that. And people look at that and they go, are you mad? <laughs> right? So it's like, it's very, very interesting because a huge amount of this frustrates the living daylights out of these people, right? But each could do with a bit of what the other has. The circular thinker could really do with some linear stuff too. Okay, why is that? Well, we have to live in this world. We have to make money. We have to do things, don't we? So this whole thing is, is really, really fascinating. Now, what I'm going to do in the card set this time is we're going to take a look at what kind of thinking you like to engage with. So feel free to pick from between groups one, two, and three. And this is a mini, mini, tiny, tiny reading. There's nothing in this one. It's four cards each. It's very short. So just take a look. And if you find this interesting, do take a look at, you know, um, how this works. You can Google search um, information about these. It's, it's really, really interesting. So I'll see you in your reading. Hi there, group number one. If you chose group number one, let's take a look at what kind of thinking you've got going on. Now, this is just a little fun thing that we're doing, but this isn't how you think all the time, right? This is just a little, you know, you're picking something because you've seen my intro, hopefully. This will all make sense if you watch my intro. This is one of those videos where you really need to watch the intro. And then this whole reading kind of makes sense. So let's see, are you a circular thinker? Are you a lateral thinker? Are you a linear thinker? I'm seeing that you're a very creative thinker for a start. So we're definitely in the realm of the circular. You're definitely a right-brained person, 100%. You've also, yeah, and this as well. So you've also got this fantastic ability to take new ideas from the air right? You're able to pick up on new things, new trends. Karl Lagerfeld talked about this. Karl Lagerfeld talked about how new ideas, they're just in the air. 
it's just something you pick up. He, he talked about connecting with the air. He was such a creative individual and I do see that you've got quite a bit of that ability. You've got the connection with the air. You've got the best connection possible with the air here with the ace of, this would be swords, but it's spades, right? So phenomenal. You've got a great mind, a great ability to move quickly with the mind as well. You've also got this fire energy here, which is fantastic. You can ground ideas, I would say. And the other thing with this card here is that you've got a, an ability to take risks. So you're not afraid to take risks. Mentally, you're not afraid to take risks. Mentally, you're not afraid to go there. You'll go there. You'll check it out. You'll, you'll know what's what. Uh, let's take a look here now with this. Yeah, I would say with these two, we're kind of looking at... <clears throat> an ability to earth and ground ideas. We've got earth energy here with the nine of diamonds, nine of pentacles here. This is also a card of independence. So you're able to think for yourself, think on your own as well, which is fantastic. And this is another brilliant card, I would say. Again, this is, so this to me is showing quite a lot of circular thinking ability to ground and house ideas as well ability to generate ideas ability to take what's in the ether what's in the air and and create it make it happen and this is very linear this is linear but it's great because you need some of that to be part of the real world right so i would imagine that you are good with money and you are good with grounding things making them practical making them real so group one that is your tiny mini reading for today i hope this has been a nice bonus reading uh, i don't know how long i'll do the bonus readings for what i typically do is one tarot per week but these last few weeks i've just been guided to do things this way the channel will change i'll get back to doing transits and other things so yeah but thank you so much for stopping by let me know how you got on with this in the comments below and i look forward to seeing you next time Hi there group two, if you picked group number two, you're in the right place. This is a tiny bonus mini reading guys, it's a really quick one. I would advise that you watch the introduction for this one so that you know what it is that I'm talking about. But if we have a look and if we see what kind of a thinker you are, now this is just a tarot reading so this isn't definitive, this is not how you think, but you've picked this so see, what, see how it resonates. Um, I would say You've got a nice, you've got actually an even balance. They are quite extraordinary and such people are quite rare to have quite an even balance between linear and uh, so left brain and right brain. This is quite fantastic actually. So you've got all this earth energy here. You're really able to be practical, to earth things, to ground things, to work in that 3D world and get stuff done in quite a mercurial, mercurial and Jupiterian sort of a way actually. Um, I am definitely seeing that here. This is great. You're probably perfecting a craft or working at a craft or very highly skilled or developing a skill or skills, multiple skill sets, which you could use, I would say, in the corporate world. Um, that was definitely the feel that was coming as I was briefly just looking at these cards. You've got this right brain creativity the air thing going on which you could use very skillfully in a legal sort of a way I, I don't know if we've got any lawyers watching but um, you've definitely got that kind of mind where I feel like you would be a great debater uh, a great one for seeing through illusions and um, a great person to use your creative energy in a competitive sort of way so I would say your circular thinking can be used in a really brilliant way when it comes to interacting with others either being a diplomat or arguing cases or and winning as well There's, there is that feel to this small spread which is quite incredible but as I say I think you've got quite the even balance between your creative right brain thinking and your linear mind which is pretty extraordinary and ideal 
to be quite honest. That's what we really want. Uh, you know, it's certainly something I want to develop. I know me, I'm very happy being circular, but um, I want to be more uh, on the, the linear side as well. So that is what I have for you today. A very tiny mini brief reading. I hope this has been a good one. As I say, the point of this video has been more so to watch the introduction. And you can, of course, Google search those terms and take a look at your own chart. What I would say if you're looking at your own chart is take a look at your uh, earth, wind, fire and water. That's kind of how I'm doing these readings. So. If you've got, say for example, fire and earth, I would say that's more on the linear side. If you've got the water in the air, then that's very much more on the circular and lateral thinking side. So group two, I hope this has been a good reading for you. Please do let me know in the comments below and I look forward to seeing you next time. Hi there, group number three. If you chose group number three, let's take a look at what kind of thinking style you've got going on. Now, a tarot reading can't tell you what kind of thinking you've got going on, but you know, this is just a fun little thing that we're doing. The main point of this video is really to watch the introduction and you can, of course, Google search those terms and learn more about them. If you're looking at your own chart, for example, you'd want to look at the um, elements, look at the earth, wind, water, fire, um, and sea. I'm, I'm taking earth and fire to be more linear and I'm taking air and uh, water to be more lateral and circular. Okay, so what have you chosen here? What's this going on here? I would say that you're incredibly creative, circular and lateral, definitely, hugely so. You've got a nice amount of linear, right, which is important. We all need at least some, you know, uh, it's very important. We've, we have to create a life, we have to earn money, we have to do all of those things. So you've got that. But I think your focus is very much to do with air. And what I'm seeing is that, yes, you are a circular thinker, you are a lateral thinker. And I would say that you're the kind of thinker that devotes your thinking space to the emotions of others. This spread, I'm seeing the kind of person who'd be an excellent counselor, excellent healer, excellent person to understand uh, another human beings feelings um, so I would say that that is how you use your circular thinking how you use your lateral thinking I think you use your linear self in a very practical way but I get the feeling that it doesn't interest you at all <laughs> okay I get the feeling that you're like as long as the bill, bills are paid and you know it's all ticking along that's fine with me so I kind of get that feeling but here I'm getting a strong vibe that you're very, I'd say you're very creative, very circular, very lateral in your thinking. You understand the higher realms. Being up in that airspace is very comfortable for you. And assisting others from that airspace is something that you've got natural gifts and talents for. So group number three, I hope this has been a nice little mini reading for you. As I said, it's a very mini, mini, mini reading today. It's just a little bonus. Um, if you want to watch a bigger reading, I did a really massive one yesterday, which was what's real about you. So you can take a look at that. That's a cup of tea type video, but this is just a little check-in. It's a little mini thing. So I hope this has been fun. Group number three. You can let me know in the comments below. And yeah, I hope this has been thought-provoking, something new for the day. And I look forward to seeing you next time.